Hundreds of new documents in the Casey Anthony case released today, just this morning, and we'll begin with one that was uh, about nine pages long. This document, it deals with evidence that was to be tested for fingerprints, and included in that evidence is a Dora the Explorer a backpack, a comb, toothbrush, toothpaste, various other items. They also reinspected Casey Anthony's car. Um, the investigator vacuumed the trunk, and that filter from the vacuum cleaner was taken into evidence for a later investigation. Also, there was a snake collected from the remains area, and that snake, let me get to the picture real quick here, was put in a uh, refrigerator and kept, and then taken to evidence and put in their evidence storage cooler. In the next document, it is about 64 pages long, and it involves Charles Crittenden, who worked at the, the uh, business where Cindy Anthony worked, Gentiva Home Health. He was questioned about the relationship between Cindy Anthony and Casey Anthony. They had several conversations um, regarding Casey Anthony, what her mood was like. Uh, he was asked if he could kind of gather what her mood was like, what her frame of mind was like, if he could get any insight into their interaction, their relationship. He was also asked about where she worked and if he ever noticed her name tags and if they could put the pieces together about the holes in her story about uh, what her job was and where she actually worked. That was a 64-page document. This next document is 80 pages, and this deals with Dominic Casey being questioned, the former uh, bodyguard of the Anthony family. Also present at this interview was Brad Conway, uh, the lawyer. And they go through this. It goes on and on, but basically it's about uh, why Dominic Casey was there in the neighborhood where the remains were found, why he was videotaped walking through that neighborhood and looking in the area where the remains were discovered. The next document here is 17 pages long, and this has a lot of interesting things with it. It deals with cell phone records and a lot of uh, tower pings, text messages, things like that. And there were a few interesting text messages on here. Let me scroll down to where those are. Uh, one from June 26th where Casey Anthony says, I need a freaking vacation. Um, another one from June 27th that says, there was definitely part of a dead animal plastered to the frame of my car. Same day, June 27th, my car ran out of gas again. Same day, two weeks in a row on Friday, my stupid car runs out of gas. Um, and I believe these were texts between Casey and uh, her ex-boyfriend, Anthony, uh, Anthony Lozaro. Call me after you get up and whatnot. Can I borrow you and your gas can today? So the text messages go on, and, and there, are, there are plenty more beyond that. But that's a gist of what investigators were looking at there. The last document... Is 77 pages long. This interview takes place with a Mr. Cameron Campina. He is asked a lot of questions about Casey Anthony's alleged drug use. He uh, is asked if he supplied drugs, if he was um, in the apartment with Casey when she used drugs. And he does confirm that uh, she did use certain drugs and acted in certain ways and uh, did certain things for them. So that's all in this 77-page document. In all, hundreds of pages of documents released today. Take your time, go through them, but now at least you have an idea of what's in each of these separate documents.